But the Wildcats are ready tonight for the favored invaders from the state of Ohio. So on the near side, all the Northwestern fans, on far side you'll see nothing but red behind Urban Meyer. Northwestern won the toss and deferred. So the Buckeyes are going to handle the ball first. And Dante Wilson, their sensational freshman. And watching from behind him is the Northwestern Athletic Director, Jim Phillips. Fielded in the end zone. They'll take a knee and come out on the 25-yard line. Carlos Hyde opens as the running back, number 34, alongside Miller. Play action to him, and Miller down the middle, and it is complete to Corey Brown. So Philly Brown is out of position, and then finding Corey Brown behind him. Stay in the air. Two for two. Devin Smith this time. And the speed and the development of the players around the quarterback position. On second and two, play action, and again to Smith for another first down. So the Buckeyes drive to the Wildcats, 37. Been successful, so why not? Wide open is Corey Brown. And he walks down the sideline. Good read. Every play in the air so far, and the Cats jump that one. They're going to run Braxton Miller on a sweep. And he is down at the line of scrimmage. Cut off on that sweep. Steps up, fires, deflected, incomplete. Kenny Guyton, backup quarterback, will put it down for Drew Basil. 27-yard attempt. And so, the Buckeyes strike first. But the Wildcats did not surrender a touchdown. They limited them to a field goal. Basil kicks it away, and here comes Harris from the five. Alley, out to the 30-yard line, nice return. And Benrick Mark's ability to run the football. He stacked three receivers on the right, threw a screen pass, and that is Benrick Mark. They pick up nine yards, staying in the air, and there's the first down, and there's Tony Jones. If you challenge him, he'll make you pay for it. Mark thrown for a loss. Ohio State loaded the line of scrimmage last week against Wisconsin. Northwestern's got to make plays in their vertical passing game. And they do to midfield. Bucks rush three, wait for Coulter. He takes off. That was interesting, Herbie, because they held a defensive lineman. Coulter. Stopped him short of the first down. Corey Brown back deep for the Buckeyes. And this one will go into the end zone. Walking a linebacker up to the line of scrimmage. Loading the line of scrimmage. Here's Hyde's first carry from scrimmage. And he makes the most of it for... Fumble! Still loose. Northwestern football. What a play by Tyler Scott. The ringleader of that defensive front. There is Coulter number two. This is what they worked on in practice. And believe me, Coulter does get involved in the passing game. Simeon straight back, looks in that direction. Takes off and into the red zone. Out of bounds on the night. Second down and five with Simeon, the trigger man. On the draw play with Mark. Mark breaks free for a first down. Spread the field, and they'll throw it around. They won't be looking for one receiver. They'll be looking for several. Simeon in zone incomplete. Coulter will take this snap out of full house. And the H-back, Vitale straight ahead. Simeon has time, fires middle, touchdown Northwestern. Kane Coulter, as we told you, he was not a decoy. He gets involved as a receiver. It was all set up. 
by that young man's defensive work. Tyler Scott forced a fumble, then recovered it, and the Wildcats gain the lead. Not only do they create turnovers, they capitalize on it as well. Jeff Butzin makes it a 7-3 game. So here is that play by Scott, a tremendous play. Strips, ball still loose, surrounds it. And then quarterback to quarterback. Coulter's first reception of the year results in a touchdown. Dontre, the freshman from DeSoto, Texas. Strong leg coming out on the 25. Let's hide running back alongside Braxton Miller. Hyde for nine yards. Big question mark. They weren't sure if he was going to be able to go or not. Not available tonight. So Hyde gets the workload. That's a first down. Rod Smith and Bull will also see time. But right now the workhorse is Carlos Hyde. Rod Smith will check in now. They'll motion him out of the backfield. Draw play. Braxton sort of backed into that spot. Back his feet and his running ability. Instead, they go to Rod Smith, his first carry. Want to commit to stop this running game. Hyde back in as the Buckeye running back. Play action with him. Deep down that far sideline and incomplete. Ohio State earn everything that they're getting. Here comes a blitz. Miller takes off. And look at them try to strip that ball. Like third and five. Can't find a receiver. Down. It'll be fourth down. 60 pounds of containing Miller. Fenwick Mark will return punts as well as run as their number one back tonight. And this one was downed at about the one foot line. Right straight ahead with Coulter to give the Wildcats just a little daylight. From the end zone, Coulter in trouble, dashes out of it. Not going to get the first down. They're going to be forced to punt. Punt it away. They're in top of it. They swallow it for a touchdown. Ohio State touchdown, Bradley Roby, number one. Coming back from an off week against Wisconsin, Roby delivers a big play for the Buckeyes as they lead again. Urban Meyer always emphasizes special teams. This is a huge block by Roby. You can also see Ryan Shazier getting in there. So the Buckeyes regain the lead on the block punt. And Northwestern not able to get a first down. Punting from their own end zone and Roby delivered. They'll take a knee and it'll come out on the 25 yard. Mark, the ball carrier, straight up the middle. In practice this week, he's run very well. So we'll see what happens. Play action to him. And Coulter on the move. And complete to Mike Jensen. From Grant and made a great throw on the run. And then back to the running game. Second down and seven. Simeon fires. Just short of the first down with Vitaly. His uncle was Bob Trumpy. Played in the NFL. First down with number 32. Option. Mark with a good pair of hands on that play. That will... So we come to the end of the first quarter. Ohio State with a block punt has taken the lead. And we'll be back after this message and a word from your local ABC stations is the quarterback for the Wildcats on the second and eight. Moving to the left, 
far side shows his arm off beautifully that time to Christian Jones so now they come back with Coulter and Mark bangs off one tough run by Mark Coulter is the quarterback they come right back with Mark first down and goal from the three yard lot look at that sort of shotgun full house look they move to the right with an option Coulter keeps it end zone touchdown Wildcats regain the lead sometimes you hear people talk about two quarterbacks don't work Trevor Simeon just led this team right down the field inside of that five yard line and all of a sudden the defense has to adjust to Kane Coulter and an option attack that's the defense's worst nightmare with the punter holding Williams puts it down Here is the touchdown, little option look, and Coulter kept it. And the Cats are up by four. But it's been run tonight at a different tempo in a different way that they've been able to attack here early. But Zine with one of the big legs in the conference. Coming out of the 25-yard line. You know, this series over the last 30 years only lost that one game. On first down, Miller with plenty of time, can't find a receiver takes off and picks up eight yards on first down execute in the red zone second and one and it's high for the first down get it done very frustrated sideline guys first down and ten Hyde good ball fake second and ten Miller keeps it behind the Hyde block runs for the first down He's Jeff Hireman moves over to the right side of the formation. Another play action by Miller. Deep drop, gonna go for a long strike, incomplete. Evan Spencer. Braxton gonna follow Hyde again. And down he goes. Hyde, first down, Ohio State. Miller, Corey Brown, another first down. Actually, he found him wide open in the middle of the defense. Hyde to the five. Miller's option. Hyde. Out of bounds at the four yard line. Miller. Incomplete. He overthrew his target. Drew Basil. This will be a 20 yard attempt. Guyton the holder. And it's a one-point game. Second time Northwestern's held in the red zone. You're watching ESPN Saturday Night Football presented by Windows on ABC. Basil. There's Harris at the 20. And he's to the 26-yard line. Get always worried about him not stepping into his throws. Yep. You know, Herbie, you yep. told us that's been a big problem. Draw play. Here's Mark. Okay. Okay. All right. Simeon with the arm. Throws for the first down to Rashad Lawrence, a senior from Orlando, Florida. The entire nation to bring players here to play for Pat, Fitz Pat Fitzgerald. Coulter was working at the slot. Simeon comes on back. Nice move by Lawrence. Mark motions out. Backfield is empty. Buckeyes coming with six. Shades are trying to get there. They hit Mark. Mark is loose. 30. To the 11-yard line. The blitz didn't get there. They, they blitzed him. And Coulter and Green are in. Coulter on a quarterback draw. To the six-yard line. It's because of how multiple they are and how they attack with this offense. 
Second and five. Coulter keeps it, and he's going to be thrown for a loss by Shazier. Ryan Shazier. Buckeyes are coming again. Simeon steps away and not going to get the first down. That brings up fourth down now. One of the most accurate kickers in the Big Ten a year ago. Missed only one. He's already missed two this year. But Budzine nails this one. But against Ohio State, Northwestern knows you must score touchdowns, not settle for field goals. Been around the block. So here is Wilson taking another knee, and it is very, very tough. Is that a tip? <laughs> Carlos Hyde. <laughs> no game. <laughs> now Hyde. Go back. Third down. Incomplete. Johnston will take off on a fake. Trying to get the corner. Down. Oh, my. Oh, my. A fake punt at 338. So Simeon will be the trigger man here. From the Buckeye 30-yard line. A little slip screen to Mark on the outside. And he picks up... Almost 10 yards. I think it's good. Second down and one. First down with Mark. And Mark to the 13-yard line. Coulter is one of the slot receivers. Simeon will throw the other direction. Incomplete to Mark. Coulter is the quarterback. Trumpy. And he's to about the nine-yard line. Third down and six. Simeon's the trigger man. Steps up, in trouble, sacked. Going to be brought down, and there's an injured Buckeye on the play. Bennett. 29-yard attempt on its way. Good. So it's a seven-point Northwestern lead. Ended up getting Northwestern that field goal. Another knee. Look like he can still play or what <laughs> in that shot. He did indeed. <laughs> Braxton. That stops the clock momentarily. It points before the half. And they struck very late on a touchdown pass. No fires to hide for a first down. <laughs> Northwestern rushes four. Incomplete to Hyde, and it is third down, need one. Hyde may not have gotten it. Let's see where the spot is going to be. They're right on the line. Shine, and that offense is really, really explosive. Northwestern still rushing four. Intercepted. Picked off by Chichi. Win the turnover battle when you're an underdog and you can be in business. Now, can the Wildcats finish? Northwestern with 213 yards and Ohio State with 205. A seven-point Wildcat lead. End of the first half. Stay tuned after these messages with the Capital One Halftime Report. Okay, Northwestern will receive the second half kickoff. Holding a seven-point lead. They will go on offense first. Harris will take a knee, and it'll come out on the 25. So Kane Coulter opens at quarterback. And here is Mark, the running back, Venrick Mark. And then they said, reach up a little bit higher. So Coach Fitzgerald's message, reach higher in the second half. And they did just that right there. Lawrence. Quarterbacks and receivers, they're giving them a big cushion. Coulter slips it off now on first down to Mark. They've used Mark to the right and to the left. Second down and six. Here is Mark. 
try to get a first down over there on the far side. He's short of it. Third down, first down. I believe he had it. Let's see where they mark it. Green is the running back. Crosses the 40-yard line. And For 15 or 20 yards. Slipping it to the outside. Beautiful move by Vitaly. Vitaly with an athletic move. A good athletic ability there. Coulter back fires another strike right over the middle to Jensen. Jensen made a huge defensive play. He stopped that fake punt. Back by Northwestern and Kane Coulter and how they're going after the Buckeyes. A little Green, bit in the running back. Oh, this is usually how they attack with the option look as well. Second and goal, and here it is. Mark got the pitch. Not much doing. Barnett. Now Simeon and the other quarterback right there. That's Kane Coulter. He has caught a touchdown pass in this game. Third and goal. Simeon's in trouble. He is ripped down that time. Michael Bennett. So he can put a lot of pressure on the Northwestern quarterback. Good job of pressuring him there. Just to make it a two-score lead. Bud Zeem with a 32-yard field goal. Strong sack. And the Wildcats settle again for three. Penalty went out of bounds. There. Play action. Fires it off to Spencer for about nine yards. Van Hoos is right there. Buckeye coaches upstairs trying to solve it, and you can see that base four. Now they do come with a blitz on that. They tried to get to hide and did not. See if they can make a, a play out in space against the Northwestern defensive backs that are giving them quite a big cushion. Wildcats rush for big opening for Hyde for a first down. Terrific blocking. Braxton Miller dances to the right. And was able. That's their high school days. Hyde checks back in. This is Hyde, the running back, for another first down and into that red zone. Play action. Quick strike to the outside for about seven yards, and they put it in Corey Browns. Personal foul. Defense, number 23. You made That's a point the at the end of the first half. Patrick first down. From the seven-yard line for the Buckeyes. Miller, fumble! Northwestern, loose ball penalty. Northwestern finally recovered it, but there is a penalty flag down, so hang on. I think he was maybe trying to throw a beanbag at the... Holding, offense, number 71. Penalty decline, Northwestern ball. So it'll be Wildcat football. Mark slips out, they throw to the near side, and it's Lawrence again who's going to be run out of bounds. Second out and six. Option look. Pitch. Mark knocked out Rumpy. Checks in. Option. Trumpy. Short of that first down, I believe. I believe that C.J. Barnett. Corey Brown back deep. Did he touch it? There's a penalty flag. Kick catching interference on the kicking team. 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. And giving him some of his time. First down and 10. Now Braxton Miller does stay in the game. Kenny Guyton has not come in as the Buckeye quarterback. Keeps it. About 11 yard gain and a first down for the Buckeyes. Straight back, and again, incomplete. Out of that backfield. 
offense. Number 79. 10-yard like penalty. Pressure that Replay time. Marcus down. Hall. First down and 20. Hide the ball carrier. Second and 14. Miller fires Smith. Short of the first down, and here's your third down. Hyde picks up the first and more. Spins close to the five-yard line. Was Hyde a chance to be effective in the interior of that defense? Here's Hyde. Stacked up. And it'll be second down in goal. And headed for the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio touchdown. State. Their first offensive touchdown of the night. The other one in the first half was a blocked punt. And give the Ohio State defense an assist for this touchdown. Ohio State fumbled deep in Northwestern territory. In the Basil tacks on the extra point. Carlos Hyde, 17 carries. 109 yards and one touchdown. The workhorse for Ohio State. Freshman Harris is back deep. Cuts over to the left. And finally pushed out of bounds. And at quarterback. Mark thrown for a loss. The Buckeye defense has come on strong here in the second half. Inside move. Simeon steps away. Short of the first down, but it will be third and short. Boza coming again. Complete for the first down to Lawrence. And Lawrence, now they are flopping Boza over to the right side after he rushed from the left. He's number 97. And believe me, he has a big time future in Columbus. Double team that time. Complete to the outside. Back to Lawrence at the 31 yard line. Routing, they're not challenging the timing of these receivers. Buckeye Shazer was coming. And a diving effort for the catch by Tony Jones. Second down and 10. Buckeyes coming with a five-man rush this time on a blitz, and they get to Simeon. Down he goes. Boza cleans up on the play. In trouble. Tries to send the screen off incomplete. Brandon Williams, the Northwestern punter. And Northwestern will down it inside the 10-yard line. First down and 10. Miller going deep. One on one. Got it. Complete. Corey Brown. Hold on. Incomplete. Waving it off. He didn't hang on. Second down and 10. Hyde. Like a lot of good running backs, seems to get stronger and stronger. Third down and four. Swing to Hyde. First down. And out of bounds. Northwestern. With a field goal lead. As we've come to the end of the third quarter in Evanston, Illinois. Back after this message and word from your local ABC station. First down and 10. Coming out from their own 26-yard line. Carlos Hyde, the workhorse, plenty of daylight. Block again with a tight end, Hireman. This time it'll be Miller taking off. Picking up a couple of yards. Odd Smith now does give Hyde a breather. Nothing doing because of a fine defensive play by Dean Lowry. Third down and six. 
And guess who's back in the backfield? Number 34, Carlos Hyde. He'll be a protector. Braxton tries to get it off to him. And that should be incomplete, don't you think, Herbie? Yeah. Mark is back deep. Low punt, and he gets out of the way of it. The roll dead at the 13-yard line. So now Trevor Simeon will open as a trigger man. Kamapapka is back as the left tackle. Complete on first down to Vitale. Nice catch, but what he did after the catch was, is what was impressive. Simeon is releasing quicker, and that time Mark dropped it, and there's a penalty flag. Holding. Offense. Ten-yard penalty. Replay first down. 70, 70 relatives and close friends here from the south side of Chicago. Intercepted. Picked off by Doran Grant, the junior from Akron, Ohio. Tied, who's carried 19 times, is alongside Braxton Miller. Here's his 20th carry as he steps to the outside. Bangs toward a first down. Built the holding on to leads in the fourth quarter. Miller rolls to the right. Has to throw this one away. So it will be second and goal. In a familiar position that they were a year ago. Second down and goal. Miller. And now it will be third down and goal. Here comes Hyde. Did not get it. He throws that right arm at the goal line. He may have broken the plane. They may want to stop action, take a peek at that. The booth from upstairs wanted to look at that. They're lined up for fourth and goal, and now it's stopped. Play is under further review. As further review. Their own. The ruling is a touchdown. Yeah. So they did indeed say that he broke the plane upstairs. Twenty-seven, twenty-three. The Northwestern turnover, their first of the night, led to the Buckeye television touchdown that put them up. Twenty-seven, twenty-three. As Hyde is able to extend it and break the plane. When the booth upstairs recognized it. Urban didn't call the timeout to have them look at that. Fielded at the five by Harris. And this time he is swarmed over. It's Coulter a receiver. Simeon the trigger man. Bucks rush four. Complete again to Lawrence and Lawrence has had a big time night here. Simeon stays in as the trigger man. on a slant here comes Lawrence in a foot race 30 20 diving save of the touchdown at the seven by Bradley Roby great throw by Simeon 67 yards Mark comes back on first down picks up a couple busts away for the end zone touchdown green and a flag is thrown. Threw it right into wide receiver. Okay. Kyle Prater. We play second down. But they went to Kane Colder in this area earlier for a touchdown right in the middle of the field. Under pressure and it's amazing that he got that much out of it, isn't it? He was surrounded. 27 to go. Third down. Now throws. Touchdown. Cameron Dickerson, a sophomore from Inglewood, New Jersey, attended Bergen Catholic High School, makes the touchdown catch as Simeon showing some good work in the pocket. Again in trouble. Dickerson in coverage. 
Patin adds the extra point. Off to the right here. Watch the coverage. And I think the defensive back, Grant, starts to see the quarterback scramble. He didn't have great eye discipline. Pat Fitzgerald. A Chicagoan through and through. Nine ten. But Zine with a strong leg. This time, Wilson able to return for the first time tonight. Bumped and down. Braxton Miller with Carlos Hyde. Hyde has carried 21 times for 146 yards. Now it's 22 times, and this time he's cut off. Still manages to battle his way for a couple of yards. Ohio State handles this pressure down three. Here comes a blitz, second down and eight. And this will be third down. Miller slides it to Hyde for the first down. Went to the safety valve. Another great play fake. And a nine-yard gain, Corey Brown. Coming from the other side. Braxton shakes away. He'll pick up. No, he didn't go for it. He's going to throw, and why not? Open was Corey Brown. Brown on that far side before he's banged out of bounds. Braxton Miller there at the 22-yard line. Hyde is hit in the backfield. No, he kept it again. You know, the one thing that has really... The yards have been tough in the red zone for the Buckeyes tonight. Blackson's going to take a shot at it. Couldn't find a man open, so again the safety valve is Hyde, and they do it again. It'll be first and goal. Here's Hyde. Hold. Touchdown, Buckeyes. An impressive 81-yard drive. Took 348 for the Buckeyes to bring it down and regain the lead. Basil tacks on the extra point. Carlos Hyde, three rushing touchdowns all this half. 24 carries, 159 yards, and the Bucks lead it by four. Down that far sideline, breaks the daylight. A terrific return. And Kane Coulter back in as the quarterback. Play action. Diving reception. Line judge says he got it. Second and one. They run for the first down. And here's a chance for him against the number four ranked team in the country. Coulter has to move hard, cuts up field, comes across the 40 to about the 38 yard line here in the second half. First thing, of course, is get into the end zone. Mark on the draw play, and the Buckeyes stop him after about a one yard gain. The clock comes down toward 315. And they're going to need a fourth down. They move up under center. He bobbles the snap. Picked it up. Stepped over to the right. But did he get it? Did he get it? Ohio State adjusted their defense. I'll tell you what's interesting about this. They may challenge this spot. Now watch Joshua Perry on the outside right. Watch him come down the line. Trying to strip the football. There's a blitz by Shazier. He timed it up. 
very, very well. But I don't know how you spot the ball so far from the video we've seen. Fuel, the ruling on the field stands. Northwestern is charged with timeout, and they lose their challenge for the rest of the game. And take a four-point victory home to Columbus. Hyde now carried 25 times here tonight. No, he didn't shape, so when he got back, he'd be ready to play. Second down and four. Now he's got a first. No. Yes, he does. On that second effort. Rod Smith. Bought out an Ohio official, Steve Snap, Absolutely. Ohio State. Time. And it did come from the snap. <laughs> My dear friend. Absolutely. Sent me the uh, third game five. And the uni on the I'm shades. not going to catch up when I get home. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Cutting back to the other side now. The Braxton Miller. But they're deserving of that shot. They keep it away. <laughs> I think that's why there was so much commotion from Urban Meyer. He didn't want with, number with five. With number five back there. Yeah, yeah, we, times out the combines and all of those things. Simeon's back against only a three-man rush. Wow. Down he goes. The six-yard line. And no timeouts. So but obviously. guys are cleaning up their win. Yeah, that's the last thing that that he wanted to see happen. Eight in coverage, just rushed three, and they got pressure on him. Get together next week, if I'm they not do. mistaken. That, that will be a be great game. game. So here they come with the hook on the ladder. Scramble for the ball. Touchdown, Ohio State. And you know what? There are some folks who are celebrating oh, no. Oh, no. and others who are saying, you've got to be kidding me. Who's celebrating? The Ohio State oh, fans? <laughs> not just. They were celebrating earlier. There oh, are some friends. numbers crunchers who are. Oh. Mercy. Did that just happen? I don't. No, but it, yes, it did. Some people outside. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, great effort here by Ohio State.